When inserting parts into an assembly, you now get three filters. One for parts, one for sketches, and one for surfaces. Selecting one of the filters shows only those features in each part studio, and you can now add them into your assembly. Clicking the green check mark will place them in the same location they were created in the part studio, but they are free to be moved around. Sketches and surfaces appear in the instance list, just like real parts, and you can do any assembly operation on them, like group them together and fix them. There are many uses for adding sketches and surfaces to an assembly. A sketch often represents a layout, or you may need to build the internal components of an assembly before you build an outer casing. A sketch or a surface therefore gives you the means to assemble components together to check that your design works as expected before adding more detail. All edges, faces and vertices behave just like solid parts, so you can use any geometry as a reference for a mate connector. Assembling this shaft with a slider mate is simple, using an edge from the sketch. If, however, you need more control over how parts are put together, you can create mate connectors directly on sketch or surface geometry and define the primary axis to get your assembly just right. You can use these new entities for anything. You can pattern them, add tangent, parallel and gear mates, and if a sketch or surface changes, your assembly will update accordingly. If you need to work with imported geometry that is just a collection of surfaces and not solid, then you can use this new capability to insert an entire part studio into your assembly. The insert dialog will show you all the surfaces so you can pick and choose or insert everything. You can then add any assembly references to the imported surface geometry, helping you to build and test your design concepts faster and easier.